hello, hello, hello. This is part two of the, the Danny G Live comeback. And um, if you're just joining us, there's a part one that's already on my page. And uh, I was talking with my girl, Monique Martin, about all things arts, all things love, and all things fabulous. So, yes, this is um, my Let Love Rule post day of thanks. Hey, DJ Crystal Clear, how you feeling? Yes. So... I'll let a few more people come in, and hopefully my girl Monique will rejoin us in a moment. Yes. A little theme song. So it's so good. Hey, Kazimbe. Oh, my God. It's been forever since I've seen you. Um, but all good, all good, all good. I had to get a little top up, too. Hey, Kate. I'm sorry I couldn't join you guys yesterday, but my little uh, solo so- sojourn was so needed, and I... Hope it was great. John told me you guys had a wonderful time. So I am just waiting for my girl Monique to come back. And um, yeah, for those of you just joining, I haven't done uh, an IG Live in forever. And earlier, I was just talking about my joy season that is just on and popping now. And uh, yeah, we have complexions in the house and you can see them tonight at 8 o'clock. So if you're in the city, go for it. And they have three more shows Tomorrow, 2 o'clock, 8 o'clock, and then Sunday at 2 o'clock. And it's there. <laughs> Save yourself. <laughs> I know. But I want to see you soon again. Um, and thank you, Kate, for coming to see Dance at my theater. I love when you show up and you're just like there. And it just gives me so much love and joy when you when you come to see a show. Um, all right, great. I see Monique is back. Where did she go? We have so much more to talk about. I love this so much. Fix my glasses. I think she's coming in. Let's see. Try it. Well, there she goes. Okay. Yes. So you know what's funny? Um, John, uh, so my partner has all this equipment here. He's using sound lights and audio. And um, he has full, full light lighting hookup set up for me. <laughs> for this you place. have the serious, <laughs> I mean, I'm saying. He has a whole studio Perfect. set up. But the light was so hot. So when he sees this, he's going to be like, what happened to the light? <laughs> but it was so hot, girl. I, I was testing it out. I was over here sweating. Yes. <laughs> no, he, he doesn't go halfway. Those mm-hmm. are stage lights. But right. So to yeah. continue where we left off, we were talking about um, traveling and scene work. Did you do the same? Hey, Jason King. Um, hey, Nikkei. <laughs> we got Nikkei from the UK, from London. Yes. Um, yeah, so when I go, I, I never know what to expect when I go to these places. And to be honest, when I went to Taiwan back in April, you know, I didn't know. I mean, we say contemporary dance, but it's dance. But I didn't know the contemporary dance was, um, oh, no, Monique just fell off. Oh, I'm not sure what happened. I have to go back and get her. Um, is uh, uh, There was a lot that was going on. I'm not sure why Monique is not able to join. Am I frozen? I think I might be. Let's see what happens. Let's see. I'm not going to try to find her again because it is, we are live. <laughs> so I'm not sure what's going on. Um, there you are. Oh, you froze for a second. No, it kicked me off. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, we're live. Right, right, right. Do you remember when I was first doing these and I just had my, I had my old phone, my Wi-Fi was slow. <laughs> <laughs> yes. They have evolved. Right. And you didn't even have a logo. Now you have the cute uh, Danny G, you know. It was real rough. It was real rough. Um, but, yeah, so going overseas and seeing seeing dance and being introduced to all of these companies um, and being really impressed by the, the breadth of work that's in these other comp- uh, countries. And so it's been, it's been really fascinating, um, not, just, not just seeing the work, but talking to the artists and sitting down and hearing – some of them say the same things that even artists in the States talk about where um, they have to dance with multiple companies in order just to pay the rent. Ah, so, right. Yeah. So they get little salaries from each company. They, they, they want to work with all the same different companies um, or they go somewhere and take classes and, or they do more commercial work in order so they can do for them to do the more concert work. Um, so it's just been really fascinating. The last place I went, um, we were in, I was back in Seoul, 
and that was fascinating. That was an incredible um, so the art, arts going on there, the dance happening there. Um, I got a chance to go back to Lyon for the Biennale there, and that just, that's a whole, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Was this the year or was it last year that the uh, Lyon Dance Festival was focused on African choreographers? I think that was the last mm -hmm. one. I didn't, see. did that happen though? That was it more virtual? That's what I'm wondering because of COVID. Because it might've been yeah. like two years ago. Yeah. So, so hopefully so. they will refocus yeah. on that. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 And so, so talk a little bit about, as I was listening to you, I was thinking also about, you know, those relationships, you're planting seeds. Mm -hmm. So yes, you're seeing the work, but also some of the work might not be ready, but the artists, you have the, there's a spark there. So can you talk about that a little bit as well? Is that- Well, sometime... I just want to give a quick shout out because the, the artistic director, I hope I'm saying that properly, of the, the, uh, the Leon Biennale just joined. So hi, Tiago. <laughs> Oh, I got to meet. Well done. Oh my God, there's Peachy, Joao. Oh, Peachy. From Brazil. Is he in Brazil? I'm not sure. Or is he... you are, actually. Joao, tell yeah. us where you are. Yeah, where are you, Joao? So I wouldn't say that I'm not ready um, uh, because they're performing at the festival, so they're clearly at a state where they're ready to be performed. Right. So it, it's just a matter of if it's what's um, a fit for our audience um our side stage um and who who are we to say some, what, what's ready i think that's very subjective or subjective or um yeah you know um and that and that's where it gets into like the presenter producer just the artist mind um which is to think about what's a, a good fit for the venue for for what audiences what are, what are, what are trending um and then sometimes we just have to take that chance yes you know, we just have to take a chance. I don't like saying risk because risk implies something negative to me. Like, you know, a risk is when you, I don't know, go skydiving and you're, and you're, and you're, and you, I don't yes. know, That's right. risking your life. Right. You, know, you, might, right. you might fly into a side of a, a, a mountain and that's a risk. Yeah. Bungee um, jumping is a risk. Yeah. Give us a chance. Oh, he's a risk. Yeah, I, 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 I like that um, expansion of that because that is a term that's used. Well, I don't know if I can take a risk on that artist. Um, and it really is uh, giving an artist an opportunity or a chance versus taking a risk. It, mm -hmm. it's, it's lovely to think of it that way because you're right. You're not going to smash into a building. No one's going to die. And lose a limb because... See, you know, you might sell less tickets, but no one's going to die. Like, yeah. we... I, I mean, I've always been this way. Like even at Summer State, if a show got canceled because of rain, my first year or two, maybe I was all devastated. I was boohooing in the back, I'm just like, oh no. Yeah. But at the end of the day, there are just bigger things going on out here in this world that we can't be this precious about it. Um, I mean, obviously, there's disappointment. There's disappointment, but we will live to see another day. We will live to do another show potentially, hopefully um and continue to create and engage and that and that's all we can do so yeah i love the uh there's a there was a woman uh i just want to talk a little bit about the joyce audience and do you see uh it um, expanding in any, in, in any way there it has a traditional kind of broadway uh audience and there was a lovely woman after the complexions performance who uh, Desmond had walked by and she just complimented him. And she said, I love seeing him in Ailey. I've been watching him since Ailey. And so to have audience members, um, you know, it's also part of being in New York. Uh, there's a there's a there's an audience for art here, which is great. And you also want the audience that we would see in the five boroughs that may not ever come to the joy. So how are you looking at those uh, two mm -hmm. uh, audiences and addressing that? You know, I mean, listen. There definitely are the tried and true Joyce audience members, and we know you know what that is. I mean, they're, they tend to be older, they tend to be white, but that's in all theaters. Yes, um, it's also financial. Let's be honest. But um, I love the fact that what's on that stage has been so diverse. As long as I've been going to the Joyce, and even in the seven years that I freelance at the Joyce as a member of the Complexions Ballet Team. Um, and I think a lot of it is what they say and what brings certain 
audience, like a Camille A. Brown audience might be different than potentially, I don't know, uh, a ballet X audience. Although a ballet X audiences do tend to be very diverse, which is beautiful. And so I think it's, it's, it's marketing. I think our social media marketing is incredible. I think it's a great job in um, making what we do more visible out of free stanchions. And that's not, it's not cheap. It's not cheap, but we've, we've put more money into the marketing. And so that, because not same with, you know, with summer stage, not everyone's checking for our website. Like not, right. not everyone belongs to our Facebook page. Not everyone follows us on Instagram. So it's like, you have to put these things in front of people visually because there's so much competition in, in, in New York. Yeah, for eyeballs. Arts and where do people want to spend their money? They can choose. And so we're hoping that, you know, we're bringing in interesting things to people that maybe they don't know as as easily like you know they would like our beloved moments or you know palabras of the world which are great companies just to come maybe you'll come see that but maybe you'll flip through the brochure while you're there and say oh that looks interesting and come back and see something else right that's all we can do we can't force people <laughs> to come see shows we can try to make the price points you know as 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 economical as as possible with Again, we're going to mention Joyce Paz, the, um, the the last minute seating, which is those you know upfront seats or whatever that you can get in person. Um, but again, we got to keep the doors open, we got to keep the lights on, and we've got to pay just that, you know, and the artists. Absolutely, of course. We got to you know the artist fees are you know these we got to be competitive with the artist fees, and so but that's we've been on that, and so everything has gotten more expensive. You know, artists that are coming from overseas, you know, if they're shipping set pieces or, or costumes. And so we had to consider all of that when we were putting together these budgets. Now I'm, you know, more involved with all of that process. Um, but to your point about traveling more, um, even if I go somewhere and don't necessarily see something that is the right fit at that moment for the Joyce, um, I definitely am enjoying getting to know a lot of these presenters from other countries and in email or on Instagram or on LinkedIn together. And so just hearing what they're going through and lots and more often than not, whatever country they're coming from, they're going through the same thing. So it's not just us in New York. It's everywhere where audiences are slow to come back. They want to see things they know. You know, they're asking questions. They want to see people that look like them. Like so it's it's across the board. It's not just it's not just New York. Right. Well, people are, you know, to your point, the pandemic, certainly we're, we're, we, we have that moment where we are at home with ourselves mm -hmm. or your family mm -hmm. and your family, um, however you define that, and being kind of bombarded with streaming. Nice. So, you know, you have Hulu and Netflix and Paramount Plus and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> So there, people are also have gotten comfortable in their homes with entertainment coming to them. So then to take, uh, take the chance to go out of your home, what's going to, what's going to be your motivation for that? And a lot of folks are slow to come back. Yeah. Um, yeah. And have you also noticed that maybe not so much with dance, but for sure theater that, um, shows are shorter people aren't doing uh two acts um and they are doing a 90 minute show no <laughs> you know listen i'm a fan of a shorter show i mean i think we all are if they, if i see a booklet i'm like oh no intermission oh great. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. but but you know because i just think because of the because of the pandemic but even before the pandemic you know with social media and with everything so people's attention spans are way shorter than ever yes. before. um however again it depends on the company um and it depends on the product or the project and there are some companies that because of technical or production values and they want to do certain certain works in their season they need to interventions and I'm like, you know, cause I just, well, hopefully the work is compelling enough that people will return after that second intermission. For some people, that's just too long for them. And that's still okay. You know, um, like, look at Alvin Ailey. Right. Right and true. 
since, since they've been back, the 21, two intermissions, because that's what it is. American Ballet Theater, do it. I mean, because that's just what it is. Yeah, the opera. Their audiences, though, are, they know that that's what they, they can expect from those companies. And so, uh, but, you know, if, if a show is 60 minutes, <laughs> I'm like, yes. um, but, but I think, you know, as, as presenters, we're trained to be able to sit through things and we know that we have to, and, uh, um, but I think if, if the work is compelling, um, you know, a, a, you know, a two hour show may not seem like a two hour show. I've, I've sat at some 60 minute shows that felt like four hours. So, you know, yeah. So, so have I. So there's that. Right. If the right. work is compelling, like, you know, like what's that movie that's out right now that everyone's talking about the dead flowers or the, or the fields? Killers of the flower moon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm hearing this like three hours long, but people are like, oh, it's fantastic. So, I mean, right. when's the last had a three hour movie? Yeah. I think Oppenheimer is also very long. Uh, as well. Yeah. Right. So I haven't seen that yet. But what I am looking forward to, though, because I had the FOMO and I did not go see the Renaissance tour. Oh, December 1st. Just looking forward to, yeah. I'm really looking forward to that. I'm really looking forward to that. But even for yourself, like, I'm so, like, you know, you're out now sort of as an independent, as, in, as an independent curator, presenter, producer, obviously with the ebb and flow of that. And so if I could be, if we, we could be honest and bold for a second, like, how do you feel the reaction has been? I know you, we talked about this a lot, not having a quote unquote brand behind you. Like yeah. how do you put yourself out there? How do you market yourself? I really had to allow myself a moment of mourning. Mm. Because between River to River, Summer Stage, and Harlem Stage, uh, that, that was like 20 years, almost 20 mm. years, like 17 years. Mm -hmm. So that's a big chunk of my professional career with three organizations that are different, mm -hmm. um, but have a profile, a big profile. I mean, Summer Stage is internationally known. It's in the internationally known park of Central Park and the parks across. Uh, Harlem Stage is, is, is celebrating their 40th uh, anniversary in this coming mm -hmm. season. So they have, a, they have a name and a reputation. Um, what, after my morning, and it also, you know, ebb and flows, I realized that um, I have strong relationships. And, you know, people like working with me. And I, I have to say that out loud so that my whole body can feel yeah. it. Yes. It's real. And mm -hmm. um, there was a moment where I did feel like summer stage was my calling part, uh. you know. Or Harlem yeah. Stage was my college part, yeah. you know. And same with River to River because yeah. that was that was the new festival. In but it's Tank. part of your identity. It's just like when I left Ailey, I floundered for a year because it became so much a part of my identity. And and, and so when I created for myself Sugarbush, that was mine. Which, where I look at you as a as an independent producer, you are Monique Martin. You are yours full on you're creating this massive circus that i can't wait to see <laughs> yes yes yours yes yes it's courage and for sure having people you know it's your tribe that mm -hmm. that continue to lift me up i have a great team on this project people that i've worked with and that i adore mm -hmm. that believe in it mm -hmm. um and again, moving, you know, expanding and not, not being transactional, mm. you know, I have solid relationships yeah. uh, and that has really um, supported me mm -hmm. and uh, buoyed me during mm -hmm. times of uncertainty, for That's sure. That's a great term, buoyed me. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yes. And for sure lifted that relationship me up. piece is really Listen, it's like it's like any other family, your artistic family, your family family, whatever. You're gonna have differences, but it's really about being hi Karen. Hey, it's about being friend. Oh, I know. Jennifer Archibald's up here. I think I saw Kayla Farish. Um, it's about being respectful and transparent, you know, and 
one of the things I've tried to pride myself on is just being transparent. Listen, it's not always going to be the answer that you want. And right. I, and Especially it's, like it's the money. You <laughs> wish you could give artists more money. That's like, this is the budget. Is I'm really fighting. Everything. You know, it's everything. Our and so time, space, all, all, all of that. that. You know, but I think in, in the it's like it's like when you're in a relationship with a partner, right? Right. And you know, the love is lost. You you're just like, I don't like I don't love you no more. It don't turn me on anymore. I just <laughs> just just be honest, yeah. like this isn't working for me anymore. And there's something in that with friendships or some and sometimes it's really it's really scary like there's a conversation i need to have with a certain person right now this that i'm actually you know in, you know it's a friendship but i'm too i've been really chicken about going to her, her and saying why blah 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 i've been really chicken about it i'm really chicken about it and so because maybe i don't want to hear the answer right away maybe i don't want to hear it because right right and we also don't you know we don't want conflict you know we don't conflict. want <laughs> conflict oh. some people some people are they chase conflict i mean yeah. we, we also live in a reality tv world oh where God. you know it's encouraged you know bad behavior can be encouraged even on social media bad yes. behavior gets clicks yeah and so um and and we know there are people in our field who mm. are crappy to their staff to <laughs> their to artists to you know to anybody but a funder hello <laughs> Um, and you, you know, you're in a position of power mm -hmm. and that is even in air quotes because, uh, your power is based on the institution. Right. And so you're leveraging that right. power in a crappy way. Right. So, but you have you to know, be mature enough to realize that you do. You have to be working on yourself <laughs> always, you know, evolving. And that is what has really carried me through this time where it has been difficult yeah. at times because financially one and also I love my work. Yeah. I love what I do. Yeah. So I want to be in there. I want to, you know, I miss having conversations about the season. What are we what what are we mm -hmm. thinking about mm -hmm. the whole season? You know, and also that beginning because uh you how do you launch the season? You always want to come out with a banger, you know in whatever however you define yeah. a banger um maybe that's something new maybe that's an artist that's been there before that's, that's right. doing something new or is just tried and true that's and right the audience is going to show up because we know it we love mm -hmm. it we don't change a thing right um so i so i i enjoy that but what i feel the universe is trying to tell me because i've been interviewing chow all the way to the finalist yes and not be offered the position mm -hmm. and it's heartbreaking yeah however i feel the universe is just trying to tell me girl make this circus mm -hmm. please mm -hmm. we're giving you these resources to, and time but, because if you had a full-time job in this moment you would not have the time and the space to create your circus right and now you're right and yes because i i know you i live i live through you you know we talk we cry and i know what the challenges have been but look at look at what's coming to pass you know these residencies the grant that we can't talk about yet <laughs> yeah you'll hear about next week and, and, but here's the thing too which i know about people the the nature of people right all, all it takes is one one residency or or named something to come through and i'm gonna I'm claim it for you knock on wood and jesus allah and everybody else people will <laughs> take notice because they want to be a part of that thing that somebody else said, oh, that's, oh, oh, let's pay attention. Right, right. It's human nature. It's like, yeah. It's like people that will yeah. stand on the corner or, listen, they will stand in front of a deli two blocks long because somebody said those bagels were the thing to do. And you, I'm like. Hashtag the cronut. <laughs> Remember the cronut. Okay. Well, we're going to claim that Minty Fresh is going to be the cronut of 2024. <laughs> and where is cronut now? But although Minty Fresh will not be that, Minty Fresh will have a long lasting life and many incarnations and play yeah. in big halls across the world. All over, all over, all over. But all it takes is that, and, yeah. and then it goes back to, again, the chance. All it takes is that one kernel, that one person to say, this is amazing. 
Yeah. Everybody needs to see this. Right. And, and to, to, to your point, circus is um, unknown and, un, and misunderstood mm -hmm. in this country. Um, I'm actually being invited. Um, oh, I didn't tell you this. I'll tell, but I can't say it all. But I'm actually being invited. <laughs> <laughs> and we were together when I met this person. You introduced me to this person who is head of a foundation. They'll be trying to guess. So, because then the people in the comments, they're going to be like, okay, who? Give us a, what is this? Oh, no, like? no, I just remember now. So this person, this funder said to me, you know, we get a lot of uh, circus applications and we don't know how to read them. Would you be willing to come in and help <gasps> us? And the first person I, the first person, we were at the Urban Bushwoman mm -hmm. performance. Mm -hmm. And so at the church. Yes. At <laughs> that beautiful church. Yes. Indoor, outdoor. We yes. were going. It was like that was like an underground railroad. It's like, where are we going? We was going through a crawl space. But come on, Urban Bush woman. Take us through it. Take us through it. Yes. <laughs> That's why we love them. So um so that was when the seed was planted. And mm -hmm. then I met the head of the foundation. And so in January, um, I'm going to be meeting with this foundation. And they said, oh, first she said, can you come in? You know, we'll, we'll buy lunch and um, help us, you know, understand this art form. Um, and now it is, and we're going to give you some coins. <laughs> and do you, you want to invite someone else? And so I'm about to put somebody else on who gets funded. They don't even know it yet. Oh, my they God. They get funded See, that's, from I'm this foundation. And I said, these are the four people I would recommend. Who do you want? And they picked one oh. person. They said, we already fund them and we want to know more about them. And we're really excited. And we're going to give you a little coin. <laughs> so this is what I'm talking about, you know, God's grace. Yes. Because I think, Lord, <laughs> how I'm going to pay my mortgage, how I'm going to pay my con ed is looking at me. Then grace happens. Think grace happens yeah look at look at god answers i know that's right corinne that's right mo that is amazing yeah and so we have to have these relationships um with artists with yes. funders with everyone yeah. in this ecosystem yeah. that makes this thing that go makes um, and go. oftentimes in some organizations that we know they don't want, want you to talk to the funder they don't want, you know, they try to keep you in a certain kind of silo, yeah. which is a disservice mm. to the organization yeah. because everyone has a different perspective. That's right. What you're seeing and what you're sharing yeah. is going to be different than me. Right. It's going to be different than someone that's who right. is leading another part of the program. And so to have the programmers there, that's what funders get excited that's about. Right. They don't want to read that long ass application with six <laughs> in it. You know, they want some fire. They want some yeah. energy. Yes. That's what opens up the coin purse. <laughs> I mean, I am so loving. Um, hey, Vicky. Oh, somebody has a question. Hold on. I am so loving being able to be given the opportunity to to meet the stakeholders of the Joyce Theater Foundation. And I mean, yes, part of it, the fun part also is the opening nights. The receptions, the fundraisers, choreographers and cocktails. I get to dress up. Right. First of all, shopping. As most some of y'all know, I hate shopping. However, so is, is there an, a designer out there that want to take Danny G on? You are too fly not to have some stylist, some somebody who is a, a stylist I, that want to. I do need that help. Stage. I need help in that. I need this, help in that can area. Can you believe this woman does not like to shop? I don't like to shop either. Oh my god! But I like nice things. <laughs> Right, right. Um, Somebody said comments were turned off. Comments aren't turned off. I don't. People are commenting. Um, that was one of the questions in the thing. So I'm not sure because people are commenting. I can see yeah. the comments. Yeah. Can you guys see the comments as they're coming up? I don't know. Um, so I, I I've never liked shopping. I I maybe I don't know. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the patience. I don't know. But even when I was little, little my mom and my sister could could shop all day long store to store rack to rack 
And I'm just, thank you, Tree. Thank you, Tree. Um, and I hated it. I would I just want to play in the racks. Like I was on like some, um, uh, uh, like a chariot, like with my horses. And I would get my hair caught up in the hangers. And my mother would be like, where is she? And you were shot. one of the kids underneath the, the yes, I was that happy, kid. living your best life. And then like going forward, you know, then, then I joined Alvin Ailey. And let me, listen, those Ailey women could shop. They could shop, 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 shop. Anytime we'd go to Boston, it was always a whole Filene's. Remember Filene? I don't know oh, who's old enough on oh. Miss Filene's basement. I'm getting my charger. Okay. And, and they would take me along with them because, you know, I needed my little fashions. And yeah, style is a love language. Yes, Michi. But it just, I just, I did something about me and shopping. I just, I don't have the patience for it. And so obviously with being now at Le Joisse, as I like to call it, you know, I'm getting invited to all these fabulous events and because I am a sweater, boots, and jean girl. That's me. I like my jeans. I like my boots. <laughs> but, you know, that's it. But um, I do like to dress up for like a bigger occasion. Whenever Ailey would have their receptions or galas, I, I like that. Like that one time big dress thing. And But the day to day, I'm not so much, you know, whatever. But today for the first time and probably ever, I, I decided for some reason to go to the mall that's near here on uh is black, black friday why is it called black friday i don't i don't know <laughs> well and now it's black uh month because the sales did they start after labor day come on i, I mean anyway i just i'll just say the friday after the day of thanks so <laughs> which is notorious for like crowds and yeah yeah as so I decide, I'm going to, because I have a, I have two big events next week. One is the opening of Dancing with Glass, the Piano A2. This is going to be a major opening night festival. Van Cleef and Arpels is one of our sponsors for it. So I want to cute. And then I'm going to the Ailey Gala, which I'm really excited. They're honoring Judith Jamison, which I'm really excited oh, about. beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I said, you know what, let me just find some. I need to find some. And honestly, the mall, I went to the Newport Mall right over here in, in in downtown New Jersey, uh, Jersey City, and it wasn't crazy. I mean, I I even said to the girl, I went to Zara. I like Zara. I, said, I, like, Zara. I like a Zara moment. It's today that companies who are in consumer goods get in the black and out of the red. Thank you, Kate Hilt. <laughs> Hello. Oh, it makes okay, sense. So, quick sidebar. This is my this is my sister in love. Kate Hills, she is the sister of my boo. <laughs> yes. Give her a shout out because her diner in Philadelphia, her vegan diner was named best vegan diner in the country by Veg News. So if you're in Philly or just passing through, go visit uh, the Tasty. Um, and Kate, if you would, put your address in the comments so I can tell people the address. But it's called the Tasty and it's in South Philadelphia and making major moves and the food is so good and she's amazing and she's my sister in love <laughs> and then, and they just, to, then they, they, you said they just won uh some yeah best best diner in the country whoop, whoop. yes so corinne go go and please let her please take a picture and tag yourself um so when you guys see me going to Asbury every summer and hanging out, I'm usually staying at Kate's house because it's amazing and it's so fun. And she's so welcoming and I love her. And she comes to the Joyce and she hangs out. <laughs> and she's amazing. Um, and she's famous. She's famous. Um, so thank you, Kate, for that. Um, so yeah. So I forget well, you, what we were talking about before. Yeah, the you went, you were, you were saying, oh, Black you were Friday. And shopping. I want to say hey to... Um, Allison McNeil, she's in the house. Hey, Ali, hey Allison McNeil. <laughs> our our uh, women of color and the arts. Yes. Uh, oh, you know who I ran into as well? I ran into the woman that produces um, the women, uh, the Symphony Space, um, women, women in music show. Oh, you mean the the, the executive director of uh, Symphony Space? What's her name? What was the, the, the long gray hair? Hey, Bernie Reed. Yeah. <laughs> Right, right. Um, yes, I'm having a brain uh, uh, thing because I see her face. Speaking of Symphony Space, so they've oh, been sorry, writing so the Tasty, 1401 South 12th Street, represents South Philly. So go to the Tasty, amazing vegan diner run by Kate Hills and her amazing team. 
Shout out to Kate Hills and the Tasty Diner in South Philly. Yes, thank you, Kate. Yes. Um, so I'm, I've been invited uh, two things with Symphony Space that I'm excited about. One is uh, I've been invited back to produce the next Wall to Wall Festival. I produced the that, previous one. That woman. Yes. Right, okay. Right. And um, they also invited me to create a residency program for them um, based on the success of the Wall to Wall Festival. Okay, wait a so, minute. Ah, ah, you've been holding out. You've been holding out. You've been holding out. <laughs> I thought I told you. No. no. Yeah, and you're yes. saying that while Vernon Reed is watching. And, right. But first of all, that's incredible. Yeah, it's it. it really is um, allowing me to think about, you know, what, what, what would be um, a space for an artist? What do they need? What, what does this look like? So Nona Hendrix is the first artist and um, we are looking at her celebration of Betty Davis, the iconic yes. rocker Betty Davis that will uh, take place next year in 2024. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what we've designed are three encounters that will lead up to the performance. That's we're calling them encounters. Wait, safe chat. And it's a way First off to London. <laughs> yeah. So we, we, we um, are looking at uh, opportunity for the audience to get to know Nona over the season. I love and get it. To know her, 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 her praxis and her that. practice. Um, and how she selects, because she's a curator as well. Yes, she, she is. is. The fierce rocker and diva and vocalist and songwriter okay, that Mama she Funk. is. Mama, Mama Funk. Mama Funk be bringing it, okay? Yes. And so she's um, she's put together some incredible, Ruth Pointer will be there. Ruth Pointer, yes. Oh, come on. It, she performed with Betty Davis. Wow. She was in Betty's band. Cool. Um, we have this fierce um, uh, Danielle Maggio. She's um, did her dissertation on Betty Davis. Okay. She's out of Pittsburgh, so she's helping us really think about Betty as a woman and and Betty yes. off the stage. Um, so this is the first artist in residence, season long artist in residence for Symphony Space, and Nona is gonna bring it. And secondly, the next Wall to Wall Festival, which will take place May 4th mm -hmm. of 2024, is celebrating Prince. <gasps> That's what you're- So who want to be down? Who, want, who, who out there want to get, <laughs> get, get down, share some of your purple badness? What is this woman's name? That's what she told me. She did tell me about Prince when I ran into is it, her. Is, like, it, is, it, is it Lauren? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's okay. She did mention that to me because I brought, I said, I said to her, oh my God, I met you through my girl Monique. She was like, yes, Queen Monique. I was like, yes. <laughs> See, Prince. That's the kind of, that's what you want people, you want to elicit in people when they say your name, when they yes. hear your name. You yes. don't want people to be like, mm. <laughs> oh. Right, right. No comment. You don't want that. <laughs> you don't want that. Yeah. yeah. I'm really enjoying working with them. It's a great so when someone's asking when is the betty davis event the betty davis event will uh launch with the first encounter in march so it's march april may mm -hmm. and the full concert will take place uh may i believe it's may 18th but and it's, it, on, it's on their website symphony space all the information is there yeah. is it symphony space .org yes. or symphony space so, org yes thank you bobby so just go to symphony spaces website and you'll, you'll be able to get all the information on that that's incredible Mo. yeah and can you believe that in 2024 it will be the 40th anniversary of purple rain <gasps> oh, oh great is oh i know <laughs> <laughs> i'm like how is that possible i was in diapers oh my <laughs> 40th anniversary of purple rain wow yeah four oh, right yes four zero Oh my God. Four zero. Oh my God. So I want to do, I have all these ideas. I want to do a little cosplay. Like, come, come y'all. Come, who coming yes. is Vanity Six? Yes. Right. Oh, fabulous. Yeah. So look at you, Mo. <laughs> you know, again, I will say, because I've known Mo for such a long time now, and all the, the travails, the trials, the tribulations. But look at you, girl. Look at you. Look at Thank you. you. <laughs> Thank you. Own it. Yeah. 
I know, I know, I know too, Corinne. I mean, really, you, you know, and I know there's much more work to be done, all the things, but I just posted something in my story. It's like, you know, cel celebrate the transitions and the journey because you're doing it. You know, you're doing it and you're, and you're affecting change and you're bringing culture to the kids. You know, and when I say kids, I mean the, the collective kids, right. us. And, and, um, you know, and, 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 you know, and it looks it, different. It, it, what you that's, to be. that's the thing. Yeah. It, it, it looks different. And so being comfortable with an institution uh, behind you, you kind of get a little comfortable. Yeah. Um, and just knowing, like, I freelance before. Like, this mm. is, come on now. Um, but you also get a little extra boost. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to discount that, mm -hmm. that comes with, you know, mm -hmm. being a part of an institution. And then there's the freedom of, <laughs> of, of not having to do that. So it, they both have their value. Yeah. And right yeah. now mm -hmm. with me creating this circus, the universe is like, no, you, you ain't working with nobody full time. But because everyone you know this, you. remember this idea came to me in yeah. 2011. Right. I've been right dreaming and yep. thinking about this project since 2011. Yeah. But the thing uh, is, everyone knows you. Everyone knows you. Everywhere I've traveled, everyone's like, oh, I know Monique. And this idea, this, like you said, 2011, everyone knows about this idea. And you have so much genuine love and excitement behind this because people have been hearing the idea for so long. And I, and I don't mean that in a way of like, oh, you were working us forever. No, 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 no. You've been dreaming it and figuring but it. But it's really this time last year, yes. we were preparing. We were in London. Mm. So we did a workshop at High Arts. And, and then we did the workshop in London this time last year. So mm -hmm. when I applied for uh, this big grant that we'll find out about next week, um, this time last year, then um i didn't even have a work sample mm. and so the work sample came from london wow. and now i have the work sample from london i have toulouse i have high arts so <laughs> it takes toulouse. You know, takes time but yes toulouse hello I want toulouse. right shout outs to my moroccan fierce acrobats uh yes. from tangiers who brought the fire so and just man, just to bring up. folks up to speed, I'm Danny G. This is Monique Martin. And Monique, if you didn't see the first half of this amazing comeback of the Danny G Live episodes, we've been talking also about her independent circus that she is creating from, from the belly up, from scratch, yeah. Mint Fresh, which is in honor of Araminta Harriet Tubman Ross. Tubman Ross. Um, and will feature dancers and... and acrobatics and soul music and so talk talk more about your collaborators because i think people need to know a tracy is your sister and uh, and, and bomb 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 artist herself yeah just has some awards in, in in the bay and also adesola adesola oh. osaka looming come on now come okay. on now ghetto originals <laughs> come on yeah. now Chor choreographer you know on camille's team with the hippest trip and oh. Working with Insango and Sinking Ink. I mean, he's he's oh my god, which is about to open up the Apollo. Yes, yes, in their new space. Yeah, it's opening up the new space. I, I'm Sinking so Ink. excited for that. So Adesla, Adesla has been on the team. He's my day one. Yeah. In 2018, we received our first residency at Lake Placid. Mm -hmm. You were there then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Remember James at uh, Door APAP. Yeah. Um, is when uh, James Lemons, the executive director of Lake Placid uh, James Lemons. Arts, yes, he offered me my first residency, like sight unseen. He was like, Mo, what if I gave you this and this? Would that help you? Relationships. See. Relationships. So Adesola uh, was there from the beginning. Right. And now we've expanded the team to include Tracy Bartlow. Uh, and Tracy and Adesola are co-choreographers, mm -hmm. so they're working together beautifully. We oh, have nice. Chin Lo and Asante Amin from Soul Science Lab. Thank you. I love Corinne. it. Corinne was the one who introduced me to uh, Soul Science Lab. I love it. 
Yeah, she's like, we need to bring these brothers to Harlem stage. I was like, okay, uh, who are they? Right. And I love them. Yeah. They're so talented. Incredible. Yes. They have a show as well that's going to um, the Apollo as well. Apollo, oh, nice. y'all better check for the Apollo now. Look, look, look. Apollo. look I'm, I'm going low too. Give me one second, but keep talking, Drew. Yeah. Keep talking. So, uh, Soul Science Lab, they are composing the music. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, Korean. Mm -hmm. And um, we have an incredible incredible thinker she bringing the receipts on black music and that's for <laughs> dr fredera hattie okay. okay okay and you can see fredera in all everybody's grabbing her up for these uh documentaries on black I love music it. and black culture she's writing a book now um and so fredera's on the team and we have a couple of um circus um consultants that are also working with I me love it. and so yeah You're yeah doing it. so it'll be it'll be um dance uh will be a big part of the vocabulary yeah. and that yeah. is because we we dance we move or the music and the dance are uh entwined mm -hmm. and two on a practical um level there are just so few black circus artists mm -hmm. and um Part of that is just opportunity, yeah. you know, yeah. and awareness of that this is this is a uh, an art form where you can actually make a oh. living, right? And not just as a part time, yeah. as recreational, mm -hmm. you know. And we also have to invest in it as a sector. We have to invest. So in, in France, there are um, forty eight professional circus schools. Wow! There are over five hundred professional circus companies what yeah in sweden there's two in finland there's two tiny ass sweden tiny ass finland in <laughs> usa there is zero there are lots of schools wow. but they're they're oh, pretty professional speaking of which tracy we've been talking about you tracy, tracy bartlow wait a minute wait in this little bit of time we have left i wonder if we can do a, a three-way oh you know what i mean don't, don't get fresh <laughs> a throttle <laughs> Well, let me sit that down. You already on Facebook jail. Oh, I know, right? right? I know. Wait, well, let me see. Tracy, can you can you join, Tracy? Let me see. Let's see. I've only been able. Let me see. Tracy, are you dressed? <laughs> she was feeling under the weather. Yeah. Uh oh. See. Boom. Hey, yo. Boom. Shakalaka. <laughs> I just randomly popped on IG and was like, oh. My sisters are having a conversation. Oh Hi, Danny G. Hi, Sister Mo. Hey. hey. We have been talking about Minty Fresh, all the fabulousness mm. and amazingness that's about to happen in these streets. How are Ooh. you? Oh, my goodness. I'm good. I'm on the mend. Had some cold and flu symptoms and just getting out and doing a little bit of work at the guest house and um, feeling yeah. good, feeling yes. blessed. Yeah. And uh, just giving thanks for this year that has just flown by. Right, mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, this is so awesome. Yes. Right. Look. So, so show come us come a little bit the glasses. guest house while, while you're chatting. We were just talking about um, the team of minty fresh so oh, nice um, give it we, we got a we got a banging team yes we got yes. A, a banging team and they they're call. ready and they're excited so you always want to work with people that are excited because there's unless it's the renaissance story they just it ain't the money you know what i mean okay it's not it's it's but it's going to be uh uh a stone cold gas to use <laughs> but i just think it's also so beautiful that you two are able to collaborate i mean you know as sisters i mean i just think that's so beautiful and maybe it's not rare but i don't i don't i personally don't know that many like sisters collaborate unless they're music groups you know what i mean like a, a, Sister Sledge, you know what I mean? But yeah, like I just, I just think it's so beautiful that you guys are working on this incredible project together and bringing your your authentic, fabulous, brilliant selves to this project, and it's going to be an amazing. Yes, I have to lift up our mother, Lillian Faye Bartlow. 
yeah. who took us to the circus, that loved the theater. Loved dance. She took dance. She loved dance. She had a little leotard, a little James Fonda leotard. <laughs> <laughs> and so she infused us with all of this creativity like she was a patron of the arts. Yeah. she would take us to the um the um uh the the storytelling festival she would take us to the um black filmmakers hall of fame festival we would see these old soundies with duke ellington and, yes. Count Bates and fat swaller like we was in the hood, <laughs> but she gave us some black culture. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. She also loved Broadway, so we would we would go to see Broadway shows. Yeah. Uh, we would see shows in parks. We would also go to Fisherman's Wharf and see mines and street performers. I love it. Um, she had a wide, wide palette, and I'm just so thankful. You know, it certainly poured into us. Mm. And having mm -hmm. a um you know an appetite for a range mm -hmm. yeah. of art and culture i yeah. think you know that you you either have to be kind of born curious or someone introduces you to it mm -hmm. yeah Mama and it goes back to what we were talking about good stuff. that one person you know introducing you or showing you or or, or giving you access it just takes one person or showing yeah. interest in you yeah. You know, like for me, when I, when I started at performing art school, you know, I didn't know I wanted to be a dancer. I, I mean, I loved it when I got to my performing art school. But it was at my one teacher that took my little mm -hmm. flat footed. <laughs> <laughs> so, and she saw, she saw whatever she saw and him me up in the corner and was like working on my little rotation, my big old chunky thighs. It was like, and that's what led me to be, to declare myself mm -hmm. a dance teacher. Mm -hmm. And, but, it, but mm -hmm. to both of your points, it started with my mom for sure right right beautiful beautiful yeah. i love that michi yes mothers pouring into into their daughters and so if you have young people in your in your you know neighbor whoever they are it's a small thing to encourage them uh to try yes. to keep evolving and things especially like for the young people with social media now because right now no one wants yeah. to fail no one looks to look wants to look you know bad yeah. they everybody wants it's like you're not gonna start and 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 have a six o'clock you know <laughs> leg extension and all the things it's training and yeah. dedication and yeah. so if you if it i just want everyone to encourage the young people in, in the arts because i just yes. see a lot of young folks who were born yeah. with social media was born with a phone um no one wants to be outed no one wants to look weird and that's part of the process yes absolutely yeah. you gotta work through it access you know one of the things i was so proud of this summer was you know we so mo and i worked so deeply in in the parks world um of these free shows and i was i'm trying to bring some of that same ethos to to where i am now at the joys and i was able to again connections relationships i was able to use one of my long-term relationships in parks to do a pilot program or help our education department create this pilot program where we through mary polar marhakis who works at parks and she knows all these camps and rec sites to bring these camp groups to our theater this summer for the first time ever to see a show of palabolus mm. that oh, oh, oh yes impact. you know this uh, um empowerment group get, get empowered came through from harlem I mean, all these groups from all five boroughs, even Staten Island, I believe. Because <laughs> okay, people be hating on Staten Island. I know they do. Too. Okay, so we got to thank uh, 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 the, um, who was just on here, the trumpeter. I need to oh, uh, Terrence Blanchard. Terrence Blanchard. Girl, Terrence, work Tracy, out Terrence Blanchard night. came through. Vernon Reed came through. Yep. The kids are coming through. I'm going to chat. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I love that. I'm so excited for your uh, position at the Joyce, Danny. That Thank is you, Tracy. such an awesome um, connection and space for you to continue to thrive in. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. So and your, your travels to Jacob's Pillow, is it going to be a stop in New York? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. On my way back to California, I'm going to spend a few days oh. in New York. Okay. Yes. So we're going to have a real... Real sister girl, get down, get down. Yes. yes. 
I see Big Tara is on here and Papa Chuck is on here. Yes. Oh, hey, Oh, oh. It's so wonderful to see people just tapping in. Okay, okay for social media. <laughs> yeah, I see Cash. Cash was on. Oh yes, well. yeah. Hey Cash, Mo about you know yes we're presenters of all things, but I I've, I've always maintained I'm an artist first, and so having been the Joyce this this full year and not having a chance to get my performance person out. Um, you know, I was so looking forward to doing this IG live again. I was like, this this is this this was mine. Right? right this was my i built it yeah. out and yeah. and i got you know just figuring out how to continue doing these within my schedule um uh, because this i created this and i created the the you know the the i don't know the interest um and people want to hear from you in your new position you know they've been they've been <laughs> waiting i've even been asking her okay when we doing a live when we doing a live and then it was like how do we do it again <laughs> I was like, boop, 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 boop. Yes. Hey, Charlie. Yes. Yeah. Uh oh, our niece is on here. Hi. Yeah. Oh my God, this has been incredible. So, girl, we already, we are, we have already talked another hour. We did. Mo. Okay. Yeah. We got to go. This was uh so wonderful and um spontaneous. Yes. I love you, Danny. Love I'm you so excited too. to see you at Jacob's Pillow, sister. Yeah. Yes. Um, A week from today. Yes. Post about yes. it, post about it, post about it. Do some yes. stories from there. Yes. Use this free, this free 99 platform and just continue. You might, you know what you might even want to do, Mo, is create um, a page or a social media page just for Minty Fresh mm. and start like. Yeah, I was thinking about that and I was like, is it, are, is it, are we ready? People want to, people love the process. True. People love yeah. the process, the, the behind the scenes of it all really? like and that's going to be interesting because jacob's pillow for people who haven't been there is in the hoodie hood woods <laughs> i'm about to grab a little flower if you are in the it's... bush buddy, if you open the bush <laughs> baby it's a... you are in the mountains you're in the forest you're in the forest <laughs> oh my goodness i was i was doing some preliminary packing of layers because yes. it is winter you might want to take up in those mountains goods too <laughs> Say that, that again. Take some, <laughs> some canned goods. <laughs> Log yeah, off now. We got to finish everything. We just got to get groceries. <laughs> I'm just saying for late at night. There's no, there's no, there's no bodega run up in there. I'm just. <laughs> you right. All right, no bodega run. Yes, we have no Uber Eats. The van, so we can go to town and make groceries. That's true. So yeah, we'll absolutely. get all of our rations. <laughs> Well, listen, my loves, before we get cut off, because I don't know what the Instagram rules are anymore, it is 6.57. I got three minutes left, but uh, this has been so fabulous. Monique Martin, thank you for pushing me to do this again. I have so enjoyed this, and I got to figure out the cadence of doing it again, because I, I miss this so much, engaging in this way, and um, uh, it's, just, it's just... Yeah, yeah. you have to it, do one also, before, the, before the end of the year, so we can hear about uh, what's cup coming at the Joyce yeah. for the holidays and the next season. Maybe uh, maybe it just needs to be once a month. Maybe it's just a once a month thing where it's, yeah, and then we could talk about all everything at once and it doesn't have to be weekly because that's too much of a lift for right. sure. Right, but right. Maybe just anybody got time for all that. Hey, right. D. D Ross, Darren Ross, Invincible Show, Michael Jackson, Legend. <laughs> hey, D. Ross. D. Ross, somebody just said your name the other day that I need to call you about, uh, sound design yes hmm. but mom let's let let me call you after and we will debrief because i want to hear some more of the other stuff we couldn't talk about you know right, and right. <laughs> thank you everyone yeah, i love you, you. spent some of your time with us and happy joyous yes. peaceful holiday yes <laughs> yes see you in new york tracy yes thank you everybody for tuning in yes, yes. yes. see you yes. at the next one bye, bye.